These are our pencil sharpeners. This is a pencil sharpener. When the lid comes off the pencil sharpener, all you have to do is you will twist it at an angle. Make sure the middle part pops through the hole. You can see at this angle it fits on and then I twist it back. Let's do that one more time. If I'm taking off the lid of the pencil sharpener, I twist it towards this side so that the raised area, and then it comes straight off. When putting it on, I twist it, put it straight on, make sure that the circle is in the middle there. Once it's on all the way, I will twist it. If you have it twist the wrong way, it may not fit or it might not twist. You have to have the label facing you and you'll twist the label towards this side. Then make sure the middle goes in, twist it back. When sharpening the pencil, if you have a broken pencil, you will stick it in the hole. You have to hold it on this end and twist with the other hand. It takes about 10 twists to get it sharpened. If it is already kind of sharp like this, then that is sharp enough. You do not have to continue sharpening it. If I see that people are trying to sharpen it to see who can have the sharpest pencil, then I'm going to get you in trouble. It is not your job to get it as sharp as you can. It's only to get it as sharp enough to write with. If your pencil is already somewhat sharp, you do not need to sharpen it. You cannot put a crown in the pencil sharpener. If you put a crown in the pencil sharpener, you're going to get a folder pull and you're gonna be in big trouble. Do not put a crown in the pencil sharpener. Also, do not put the eraser side into the pencil sharpener. If you do, you're gonna get a folder pull and you're gonna be in big trouble. Do not put the eraser side into the pencil sharpener. You can, however, put colored pencils in the pencil sharpener. You can put colored pencils in the pencil sharpener. You just stick them in there, hold with this hand, sharpen with the other. It only took three cranks to sharpen this one. Let's see if it only takes three to, to sharpen this one. One, two, three. And there you go, it's already sharp. Sometimes it'll take more than three but there is no reason you should be over here just twirling it over and over and over and over. Let's take another dull pencil. If you do not push the pencil in far enough, you will not hear it grind. If it is not grinding, then it's not sharpening. So I need to push it in further. So I'm gonna push it in all the way to the back of the pencil sharpener. I'm going to hold on. Give it about five cranks and check it. And look at there, it's already sharpened. You should not have to sit up here and sharpen over and over and over and over. This one is very broken. Let's see if we can sharpen it. That one took about six or seven cranks, a few more, but now it's sharpened and it's sharpened good enough. Let's review. Do not put the crown in the pencil sharpener. If you put the crown in the pencil sharpener, you're gonna be in trouble. Do not put the eraser side in to the pencil sharpener, only the pencil side. But you can sharpen colored pencils like this. Thank you.